guys, welcome back. Um, going to be doing some more to the Italia. Uh, some parts finally turned up for it. Um, I thought it's time to get on and crack on and get the thing because this needs to get. I need to get this one done and finished because it's just one of the ones tying up a lot of space and real estate in the workshop. So, a um, couple of things came for it. Uh, I'll go through what I've got on the bench and I'll pull you over. But one of the things that did turn up was we. What's changed is we've removed all of the stickers and vinyls. They were deadly faded and everything else. And I didn't think they were available, but the old man managed to source down some original Italjet decals. And I mean, I was fangirling over the, like, the back. Ah, it says Italjet Racing original on it. <laughs> and uh, I was like, man, that bag's so cool. Uh, to find something that's from a scooter from like 20 years ago that's new original in the bag, that's actually really, really good find. And these are the original bright orange decals that are going to go down here. Um, I don't know if I'm going to fit them or not because at the minute it looks perfectly presentable and everything else but if somebody wanted to have it resprayed these actually might become really hard to find again. Um, so but yeah the the original uh, Italjet uh, decals that go all the right in and everything else and every, all, everything other than the two ones that say Dragster on the side we've got. So that's one thing that's here. Regarding the what I'm going to be doing today, I'm hoping to get just the brakes rebuilt. I'm not doing anything else. Uh, I've got to come back. I've still got to finish up um, a few uh, mechanical issues with the carb, and I've got to run this 70 kit for the first time. Because if you go back through the channel, you'll see on a previous video I uh, pulled this motor out and freshened it up and put a brand new 70 uh, piston and rings and barrel in it. Uh, out of necessity, because there was a few issues with it. Bolts are broken in the cylinder head, so. Right, less waffling, more doing, because that's all I keep doing. Oh, if you <laughs> wondered about the t-shirt, uh, I keep calling my dad dickhead so many times that he got me this t-shirt for my birthday, and it says on it, dickhead two, because obviously I'm dickhead number two, because if he is dickhead number one, I'm dickhead number two. So that's why I'm wearing the t-shirt, because I said to my dad, I said I'd wear it. <laughs> so it's sort of like, a, he goes, I'll get you a present, you better wear it, because I'll fucking wear it. So, no problem. Right. Uh, let's go and get some stuff done. Right guys, um, where are we starting with this? Um, yeah, the calipers were in absolute state. Uh, I think I got a before and after picture. If I haven't, I'm going to put it in a picture now so you can see how, what state these things are in. Yeah, so we left them soaking um, for about, I don't know, at least three or four days or nearly coming up to a week. Then we tried our best to try and get the pistons out and they were not coming out. Um, so what we did was, in the end, I welded a bolt to the face of the piston. Uh, you can't see it now, but it, it, there might be a lot. You see that imperfection there. I welded a bolt across and then with that I was able to rotate, 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 rotate and then pull and pop them out with a screwdriver underneath. Uh, that was the only way of removing them. Um, they are a bit haggard but they're usable. Uh, I ordered a seal kit which then turned out to be freaking wrong and then after all of that effort um, we had to buy the new seals with the pistons so I've got brand new pistons so these aren't so I ain't using the original ones as much as I spent all that time and effort to try and save these I am not using them anymore so um, plan today is just get these calipers built up with the new seals with brand new pads into the scooter, blade up. If I can get both of that, that done today, that's a total success for me because, uh, you know, I mean, it's, you know, step by steps. Um, like I said, I was fangirling over the uh, <coughs> over the uh, Italjet Moto uh, bag, which come with the new original st old stock uh, stickers in it, which was like an absolute bargain of a find. I think it weren't even that expensive. The old man bought that. So, um, like I say, uh, rebuilding the brakes. Um, I probably could have just got away with pushing the pistons back in and out, in and out, in and out, but the seals were completely disintegrated, and I will not sell anything that isn't, you know, 100%, because as much as I'd like to keep everything, it's just not feasible, and probably it's going to be one of the ones where I go, oh, I used to have one of them, and it would be worth millions now, but to be honest, uh, the Italjet is going to be up for sale, so once it's going to be in top notch, fully overhauled, and, um, you know, use, total usable condition, and, uh, I'm not doing a full re resto, so it's not like every single part has been taken off. It's just that I've gone through the whole vehicle, the whole scooter, and uh, just made sure that everything was, you know, 100%. Uh, like I said, there's a little bit of powder and corrosion in a couple of the wheels, and if you were nitpicking it, and, you know, there's a couple of bodywork issues, if you were nitpicking it, you could say, oh, blah, blah, blah. Like these, 
uh, I can get these quite uh, reasonable, but do I really want to do them? Um, I might leave that to someone else because you know it leaves a little bit of like a um, a good usable bike, or you know, as a show queen, where if you do it over restore it, you won't use it. So somebody could probably get this up and get buy this, buy it off me for a couple of quid, run it round for three four years, and then once the, the value of them keeps going up because they are at the moment, these are actually going uh, are actually quite desirable still. And then in about you know three, four or five times years, you could four, three or four years time you could go through it and nut and bolt resto it. Um, it's more of like a light restoration. Um, like say this has been sat for 16 years. If you haven't seen the video, go back through our uh, channel. You'll see that video of when I first got this thing fired up for the first time in 16 years. So my plan today is just to get deal with the brakes. And once I've dealt with the brakes, my dad's happy doing all the body work and all the trims and putting all the covers back on. He, and, you know, sit and clean stuff and put it back. So I'm going to get in and do more of the mechanical work. So I'm going to get these uh, new pistons, new seals all built up. Uh, I think we've got some uh, some other bits and pieces. Can't remember what though. Right, so I'm going to stop waffling now because we've got to get on and do this. So I'm going to get in these built and hopefully then we can get them on the on the scooter and get them all bled up today. Right guys, I um, got that one in and I managed to tap it in on the bench but this one, being a little bit of a sod and then um, I was just making sure it wasn't picking up the seal so when I was going in it wasn't rolling the seal over or pinching it or damaging it it wasn't, it was just being an absolute sod so um, off camera and I couldn't be asked to take you with me because I couldn't be asked to get the chest mount out and I just literally just squeezed it squarely in a vice and as, it, as it's going up I'm just manipulating and moving it around just to make that make that sit absolutely perfect and it literally took literally no pressure it's not like I was cranking on it or anything it was just light pressure nice and square and it went in so that's one built up also you've got to remember to put the little o-ring from building those two up so let's carry on and build these up then Okay guys, um, that's one fully built. I will crank on them again once I've got it bolted up in the carrier. Um, yeah, there's a tiny little O-ring seal that goes in between the two, well, two halves of the uh, caliper, because it's a split caliper. The one downfall, and must be mechanical, um, but I've got to nitpick these calipers, is that they don't come with any dust seals. So when the piston's out, it's open to all the debris. So all the dirt, all of the road dirt, all the you know the water, salt, all the shit just sits on the face of the piston. And when you push them back, you just could destroy the seals. Unlike a lot of motorbikes and cars, they actually have a, a, a dirt seal, like a shit seal that goes in between the piston and this. And this hasn't got it. So literally, that's probably why it's absolutely killed these. Is that while it's been standing, they've been out and it's let all the debris and all the shit. And obviously, that the brake fluid, you know, is is you know past it as well. So that's one of them built. I won't bore you with me building the other one because we want to watch something done twice. So basically, take your time, uh, don't overforce it, and it's something that's totally doable. Don't let you know something you know. Um, 
don't let a, a task uh, get on top of you or, or you think it's too much. Just take your time. Um, you know, like little videos like this, I always thought, you know, like, oh, it's Calipax, you could get a new one. But no, everything's, everything's put together. So, so obviously someone does that, so it's totally doable. Don't, you know, don't put yourself down. Always look at something and go, oh, okay, let's just sit back, have a think about that. I remember doing this back when I was like 19. Uh, 20, I think it was an, um, when I was working at the motorcycle training school, I used to work for a training school and I used to do like vehicle uh, like maintenance for the bikes and check them all out and stuff and we had one that had seals and I got a seal kit and rebuilt the caliper but it wasn't a big deal if it didn't work, if not it was half, it was like quarter of the price I think the caliper one that was like 150 quid and the seal kit was like 11 pounds so I said well I'll give me a seal kit, I'll try and rebuild it and I did and it was definitely rebuilt and ever since then I've always known how to rebuild things these ones were a little bit more fiddly because of how small the piston is the piston's so small, it's a bit of a thing. When you've got something that's like, you know, double the size, you've got a lot more leverage and movement. With this, it's like you're pushing one side and it, it turns sideways. So you've got to be, you know, pretty precise on what you're doing. But like I said, don't let anybody tell you you can't do something. If it, oh, yeah, yeah, you don't want to touch that. Yeah, I've opened it. That's how I learnt. That's how I learnt most things is like by destroying them first. <laughs> so, right, let's carry on and get other caliper built and then we'll get them on the bike. Right, calipers are built up. Got new pads to go in. Uh, put the scooter up on the uh, on the engine, up on the engine, up on the uh, work stand. I'm going to get it up to like a reasonable uh, working height, so I'm not breaking my back, so I don't do a spine delete. And uh, I'm missing hardware. I'm missing three bolts for each of the wheels, um, and I can't find the uh, pad pins. But I'm just going to get the calipers on and and get them built up. So oh, let's get this wheel off. <laughs> really? Yeah, so my mum my and dad are tidy up or pick stuff up and we've, you know, it's deadly when you've got two people working in workshops at separate times because we're obviously, we're not, we're not together because of the uh, social distancing and coronavirus, so he's staying his away, so when I come down he's, he's banished from the workshop and then when I'm not, when he's in here I'm banished, so, but no, they're, they're not seized or anything now, are they? So they're spinning fine. Um, let's get his brake line down into it. So, it's going to definitely go through there. It's pissing all over my hands. I fucking hate brake fluid on my hands. The only thing I fucking hate, I hate brake fluid. You know what you do? I do brake pipes on cars. I absolutely fucking hate it. I absolutely hate brake fluid. I don't know what it is about it being on your skin. It's fucking horrible. Horrible stuff. I get petrol on my hands, diesel. Uh, even well, the only thing worse than this is probably burnt ATF or automatic transmission fluid like out of a out of a car. When I was a kid, not when I was a kid, when I was like apprentice, and I was working at a uh, on, on a fourteen. I was working at a car garage. I uh, took a transmission out of a uh, Granada, and while I was doing it, and I had the we unbolted it, and I got my hands on it, and we pulled the box out, and the box we put down the floor. And he goes, "Sorry, grab that torque converter." So I grabbed the torque converter, being a fucking noob, grabbed it, and I had it in my hands, and I didn't realise how heavy it was. So I unbolted it, went, and it, it got to my stomach, and then it turned like in towards me like that, and then the actual the snout of the torque converter started like chugging, burnt ATF, and it fucking and it went from my, from like my neck. All the way down my fucking belly, all the way to my fucking crutch, all the way fucking, I was soaked in ATM and it fucking reeked. 
every time I smell AC, I'm like, Ugh, uh, I don't give a fuck. You wash your clothes, how many times? It fucking reeks. When it's burnt, ATF. It's fucking disgusting. Okay. Right. Let's open up that, uh Open up that valve and see if we can bleed that. Be nice to get the brakes done, wouldn't it? So, I've only got my little lick of paint, they ain't fully restored. Well, I want an 8 mil. Do -do 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 -do. And believe it or not, it's gonna be. Oh, fuck, it's 7 mil. It's gonna be nigh impossible for me to film this and uh, bleed it at the same time, but my method is. is. Uh, same as everybody else's, crack it open while it's open like that. Let the caliper gravity feed, then we're going to open up the uh, master up here, which I've already undone the screws of. Where's my screwdriver at? Yeah, so I've already opened up the master, which you, you can't see because you're not even in shot. I could do with Marty on my head. I did that once before, I tried camera on the head and I think I just looked too many places and then you end up seeing the floor and my crutch. So yeah, so so you see, master's open, well the cap's open, let's go get some brake fluid. some brake fluid in. Very small reservoir, so remember to not to go mental like I have. Oh. She's spitting out at the other end. I could do this where I'd have a nice little piece of rubber hose like this one. I'm going to rip off this carb. Is that even flexible? Yeah. Okay. Put a little bit of a hose on it. We need a little container, really. This will do. Okay. So now I'm going to be doing is putting my finger over the end. Probably not the uh, ideal way of doing it, but it's the way I do it. So I'm going to get up here and I'm going to try and pump. See that? Oh, yeah. I'm overflowing at this end. I think it's because I'm shaking the bars like a dickhead. <sighs> Fuck. Let's just put that rag there. Stay in that position. Okay. So. Definitely feels like he's doing something. I'll put this pipe high up, so then it's gonna fill with fluid. Do we still got fluid in the res? To be honest, guys, I can't fucking see. Let's bring this down a little bit. Get it to about there. Oh, I can see. Oh yeah, there's been tons of fluid in the rag. So, it was definitely moving fluid. I've seen it doing it. I bet it's up to any shit in it. Right. So. Don't seem to be moving any fluid now. I don't know why that is. Oh, I can hear it now.
definitely sucking. It's becoming a pain in the ass. It's terrible doing this on your own. I need somebody to. Drinking any of that fluid? No. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Right, let's pull that pipe off. Right. Um, I'm going to try and get a syringe and draw it through. Uh, I don't think there's enough pressure to... The line's completely dry, and I just think it's just pushing air backwards and forwards. So I'm just going to find a syringe and try and suck that up out of that. Right, proven to be a bastard to bleed, and I thought it would be. Um, I tried one method, it didn't work. Uh, what I've got going on now is obviously the reservoir's half full, if you can see that on camera. And what I've got is I zip tied a lid of a painting right there, and then that's got a one pipe on there. And as I'm as I'm pumping away, all the air's coming out. You see that? And uh, that's my one-man method. See, what it is is that it's sucking back as well. So I need it in fluid, so as it's losing air, like it is now, it's pumping the air out, it's also replacing that with fluid, so it's sucking back. So, uh, might need to just top that off, reservoir off a little bit. So there, that's my, uh, <laughs> my uh, method to uh, try and get some of the air out. It's proven to be a fucking tit. So... I'm going to persevere with this for another 15 minutes and see how I get on after that. Well, I've made a fucking mess. Um, the front, I've, I've come away from because it wasn't bleeding up, so I've just left it gravity bleeding. Uh, the back, I've bled up. Um, <coughs> it was still a fucking tit, but it, um, it did bleed up. And we do have a lever, so you can see there, look. That's, that's perfect. Be honest, I've just got to get all this brake through that way. When I'm pumping it, it's it's back feeding up back throughout the reservoir and spitting everywhere, and it's being a fucking tit. Now it's all over my hands, and now I'm in a bad fucking mood. And blah 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 blah. <laughs> One of the things where, you know, if it wasn't fucking real, I'd uh, I'd be taking the piss out myself. Oh yeah. I will go throw some proper water on that and wash it all off. It's not going to damage the paintwork as long as I get it off. So yeah, back's done, so I'm just going to move on to the front, and uh, we should be done. Um, like I said, I'm missing some hardware for the uh, calipers, the pins that hold the pads in, so I'll just put some uh, split pins through there just to hold the pads in place. Um, we've either got to find them or we've got to order some more, but they're... Uh, my dad just come uh, messaging me and stomping in, saying they cost 20 quid each, so we better fucking find them. So <laughs> uh, I'm going to move on to the front. The back is done now, uh, so at least that's some good news at least. So the back brake is working perfect. No longer seized. No longer. No longer. Yeah, you know. I ain't even done the carry a lot. Just laid it in there. Because I knew I was going to be taking it back out to fit them pads in. But yeah, it doesn't seize. It's not seized anymore, and it and it. It's not. It's not seized anymore, and it and it works perfectly. So that's a good news. Let's get some of this up. Let's move this top to the front. I'm fucking getting. Fucking everywhere. I fucking hate brake fluid. Yeah, so cool that that works though. So let's get on to the front. Yeah, it can be an absolute fucking pig um, if you leave the with the brake lines off and let the whole system go dry. So just my method is fast, 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 and then just see that little bubble of air comes straight up through the middle. It takes for fucking ever. But trust me, it works. If you got the the patient uh, there's a good bit of air come on and eventually you will get a uh, you will get a pedal or a lever so let's uh by the mo mo <laughs> by the, the magical of editing let's go to the bit where it's actually working right um success um Back bled up okay. You'll see that it's uh, not seizing anymore. And uh, that's all good. The front was an absolute fucking pig to bleed. Um, took me the best part of an hour. Um, 
it's a little bit spongy, but I think that might be down to the pads. So, there you go, all nice and free. Break on, break off, break on. Perfect. So, yeah, I mean, you can tell by there it's a little bit spongy, but it's not going all the way to the bar. The rear one's a lot better. So, yeah, right, I'm going to go wash up now and get finished up. Right, been a great day. Um, got the calipers all built up. Um, bled them all up. It was an absolute fucking nightmare to bleed them. Uh, pardon my language, but it was. The rear wasn't too bad. The front one, um, I've got this method of like flapping it well fast, and then half a pump and just letting the air creep out the top. It just, every time I tried to do it, it kept sucking air back in it, which is doing my fucking brains in. The word to fingers I always say is you should never leave a brake system dry. If you're doing brake work in and out, don't let the whole system run dry. And that's what happened with these. They ran completely dry and it was just a nightmare to bleed. Just the front brake alone took me the best part of 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, I'm on my own in here as well, so it's just extra work as well. So I can't be down here and everything else. Um, so, yeah, good day. Um, I'd like to get these work, you know, I, you know, do a video for you where I start, finish and all that. But it just doesn't work like that. You know, I've got... Life gets in the way, I've got other fucking stuff I've got to get done. Uh, we were waiting on the, the pots and the seals and we built those and I was happy with those. Next point of call is going to get, I'm going to have a look at the carb because uh, it was leaking fuel so I'm going to have to investigate that. Uh, and then it's going to be the first start up on this engine. Uh, and then we can put all the plastics on it uh, and I can take it out for the first run. I'll probably bring you guys along with me and on a camera and we can go out for the first ride together and see what it looks. Because I... I haven't rode a twist and go on, on the on the road for a while. It's going to be good fun, actually. And it, this being a 70 as well, so it should have a little bit more bit more zip in it. Uh, it's not going to set the world on fire, but it's going to be good. But, oh, uh, God, I'm going on again. Um, yeah, go back through our channel. We've got plenty of links. There'll be links at the end of this to, you know, like other videos and other content. And if that's something you're interested in and our content entertains you, uh, I'd like if you would consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Really help us out. Costs absolutely nothing for you to do that as well. And if you don't like what we do, you can always unsubscribe later. Uh, it just gives us a little bit of a kick up the arse and uh, get us uh, fired up to build you build a better channel and better content for you guys. So um, yeah, thanks and uh, ciao for now. Yeah, I think we'll be staying in. Ha, 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 ha.